So I have this spreadsheet that has names and addresses and I want to merge them with Avery business labels. Now if you go into Google Docs you can create labels but those add-ons cost money. So actually if you just go to the Avery website, go straight to the source, go to the Avery website, you see that they have an integration with Google Drive that allows you to design and print with Google. So let's go back to my spreadsheet. A few things to notice is my first row of my spreadsheet has column headers. You don't have to have column headers. In fact, the Avery website will assume that you don't. Uh, but notice if you do or you don't. I do. So I don't want an address label that says first, last, address, city, and location. I don't want that. Now the other thing that you're going to need to make sure that you have is that your tab that has these addresses is actually first. So you see I have two tabs. The addresses tab, the one that I want to merge, that I want to make labels out of is second. And so I actually can just drag, you see I can grab and drag this tab and move it to be first. So that's going to be really important that it is the first address. Now one of my tiny tricks is I like to make some sort of an edit. So I'm going to delete this city, I'm going to write town, and then I'm going to put it back to city. I've made an edit on this spreadsheet, any edit. Why make an edit? Because then it becomes the most recent document. That's kind of helpful, it's not required. So then I go to the Avery website. I'm gonna click on Get Started. I'm on the Avery website, I click Get Started, and wait for it to load, and it says, hey, which one of these templates do you want to use? So I was using 8160, I, so I can search that up at the top. And then I'm going to select this template. And then it lets me pick a design. Now, kind of be aware that if you don't pick a blank design, it has this default text, assuming that you're going to put text in it. I actually recommend you choose select this blank design, because otherwise what ends up happening is this one is assuming that you're going to put your name and address on all of them, like you're making your own personalized labels, and instead we want to do a merge. So for a merge, you want to choose the blank one. Choose the blank design. So select this design. Now once you select this design, you can ignore this little pop-up. Uh, look over here on the left hand side, and this is going to help you to design your label. When you choose text, this is not merged text, this is just a regular text. And so I'm going to, all right, whoops, got to select all of those and change the font, change the font size. Is this working? There we go. I don't know what's going on there. Should do it. Okay, right, and then I'm going to add an image. I'm just going to grab something from my computer. Um, I don't know. Who doesn't want a keyboard shortcut on their labels? I'm just making a point. <laughs> Random things on my computer. Oh goodness. Okay, so here's a random image from my computer. So now these are gonna merge onto every single label. You do not have to add any text and you don't have to add any images. Those are definitely optional because what I really wanna do is over here is I wanna import data mail merge. This is essential. Because remember what I said on that other one is I could just make a whole sheet of labels that say Alice Keeler and my address and I save them to use in the upper left hand corner of all of my envelopes. I'm not looking to make a generic label where all the labels are the same. I want each label to be different. So I need to import data mail merge and I'm going to start the import merge. And then here's the key. Check. Google Drive. Click on Google Drive. The default is computer. You want to switch to Google Drive So, because I want to get that Google Sheets spreadsheet that I have and I want it to be here. Now, remember how I made an edit on that spreadsheet? So it's first. That's really my key is I don't want to have to like, let me search through all of my spreadsheets. No, just it's the first one. So if you just make any edit, these are sorted in order of last edit. So that's kind of my trick. 
select. It's coming. Now the default here is it says that you have a header row. So I want to uncheck, uncheck that to say I don't want a label that says first name, last name, address. So you want to uncheck that and then go ahead and click next. Now once you're in here, you can either double click. Now notice that when I double click, it does put the cursor right below. So I'm going to have to move my cursor back so I can double click and insert. So this is first and last name. Now it's actually just taking that first merge row and showing me a sample. So even though this one says Carrie Storms, they will not all say Carrie Storms. Okay, so I'm going to push enter because I want this on the next row and I'm going to put the address and make sure I put my cursor where I want it. Now you can actually just drag these in. See, I dragged in city, I drag in location, make sure your spaces are the way that you want them. Click next, just click finish. Okay, and so then it puts it on here where I need to move, oh there we go, that's what gets the handy text, where I need to move the text where I want it. So that's what I want my merge to look like, my whole label. All the labels will have this icon on it. All of them will say from Alice Keeler. And every one of them will be different. You see these are highlighted yellow because those are going to be dynamic. So that can just do preview and print. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It doesn't like that my text box was outside of there, but it's okay. Okay, so I'm just going to choose print it to yourself, but you might want to just zoom in here, make sure it looks the way that you want. Okay, so I probably should have taken my text box and moved it more to the left because you can see it's kind of getting cut off over here on the right side if it is longer. So take a look at them first, make sure it's coming out the way that you want, but you will see that each one of these is different. They have each of the emails merged, not the emails, the mail addresses, the mailing addresses merged onto that label. So I'm just going to click print it yourself. You pick this one, they're going to mail it to you. If that's what you want, awesome. I'm assuming you went down to Office Depot and you ordered a package of Avery labels and that's why you're on the Avery website. So we're going to print it yourself. Here we go. Get PDF to print. So I'm going to click that. You can save it if you want to. I'm going to save it. Sample labels. So I can get to it later. Just so you know that if you make updates to your spreadsheet that it will not update your labels, your merge. You'll have to redo the merge uh, with your updated spreadsheet. It's imported in those email addresses. It didn't link it to the spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and open this PDF. Yep, that looks pretty good. That's what I want. I'm going to put the Avery labels into my printer. What I always do is put in a blank piece of paper. It's not blank. I actually write on it uh, with a pen to say up with an arrow and I stick it in there to make sure that it prints the way that I want it to before I accidentally mess up my labels. And once I feel like it does it correctly, then I actually put the labels in my printer. And so I can just control P print and that is going to allow me to print this to my printer.